Hey guys, it's Sasuke here, and welcome back to Nuclear Throne. So today we're gonna just get straight into that daily with the random. Oh boy, we got melting. Um, I am a little bit practiced. I have been enjoying me some Nuclear Throne here lately, so I have been playing it off camera quite a bit. It's, uh, I've been actually playing two games off camera quite a bit here lately. I've been playing Nuclear Throne, and I've been playing a lot of uh, Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. Both fantastic games. But I can't lie, man. I don't I don't know if it's the new difficulty behind Nuclear Third or something, but something just has my faith renewed. And I just I wanna keep playing. Well, hey, Alpha. And hey, Alpha. Now, the hard thing about mounting is you start with one or two HP, which is one hit of damage that you can take before you die. The good thing is you can explode corpses, which, you know, blocks some bullets, and it also deals damage to people around it, so... Pretty good, pretty good. The real strength behind melting is... If you can get the right amount of mutations early enough, you can just wreck everything. So our early recycling gland is actually pretty tempting. I'm gonna take Bloodlust in the hope that we get the... The combo here, and I need to die. <laughs> okay, not even mad, honestly. Let's go ahead. Let's do some more melting, and quit sucking with them. The only reason we have the curse skull or the curse thing is because the weekly that we did, which still kept our kept us on there for free, had the the uh, curse chest thing. So I'm not gonna complain about it. I actually like the. When I first started to experiment with the Curse Crown, I didn't like it very much, but now that I've used it quite a bit, I like rolling double curse weapons a lot more. You don't have as much freedom, but in, in the amount of freedom that you lack, you actually gain um, a lot of ammo, the ability to get a lot of ammo, so it's good and bad, I guess. I, honestly, I die a lot as melting. Like, if I get past the first stage, not the first stage, but the first, you know, area. I generally survive till the ice caves. But if I don't get past the first area for some reason, I always die to the random bandit shot. Because sometimes they'll sneak a shot out right as you around the corner and just one-shot you. Like, without warning or anything. Or sometimes you'll just walk into it like an idiot like I do. But for some reason, this is normally the highest place that I die. Right here in this first area. If I make it past here, I generally get a lot further. Holy crap, these explosions right now, though. Oh, see? Just sneak the shot out right when you don't think he's going to. That's my mistake, though. I'm being a little bit too aggressive. By a little bit, I mean way too aggressive. So let's let's bring it down on Notcher 7. Which is funny, because I just double looped when I was off camera, and then the second I get on camera, I can't even freaking get past the first area. Classic. Uh, I don't need double close range weapons. That doesn't seem very smart. And I always blow up the corpses right before I leave. No reason why, I just do it. <laughs> flame shotgun. Oh my god, a flame shotgun this early is so tempting. I don't know if it's what I want though. I almost walked right into that. I'm kinda happy I didn't. There's two scorpions in this little cavern. Did all of our goodies come to us? I think I want this flame shotgun. <laughs> it kind of feels stupid to go double close range, but a flame shotgun this early is probably just going to devastate everything that I come across. And as long as I don't play like an idiot or anything, it should be fine. Oh, I see that behind us though. Hi. Is he... where is he? Oh no. A little scary. Nice, he's down. Going well. Yeah, the cursed ammo actually is fantastic. It fades faster than normal pickups, which is its downside, but it also contains more ammo than usual, which is its upside. Okay, so now that I've made it past this, as long as I don't go full retard, we should make it pretty far. Oh my god, there's the combo. The strong spirit, bloodlust, but I'm gonna go and throw the button. Never said I was smart. Not even once. It's pretty risky to use melee weapons here with 1 HP. But, uh, oh my god. 
grab the minigun. Are you serious? I gotta pick it up. Because if I get a mutation for it to support it, oh my god. Having a minigun this early could be devastating. Fantastic. Kind of excited now, too. Because the minigun, if we can pick up a bullet mutation, oh my god, we could literally be good till the throne. And even in the throne, it's gonna, the minigun is amazing. Actually, the minigun is just amazing forever, honestly. Until you can trade out for like a double minigun or something, but. But even then, like, you're just upgrading to more bullets, so. The minigun would suffice, you're just getting more of a good thing. We just need to make sure not to use too much ammo. This is the main concern here. Because that's the easiest thing to do is to not tap shoot with it or to tap shoot too hard with it. Because if you tap shoot too hard, you're not going to shoot enough and you're going to end up killing yourself because you think somebody's dead. Oh my god, that was so scary. Yeah. So this is scary. Look at all that stuff we almost missed. We actually got it. That was a little scary though. So we need our bullet mutation as soon as possible. Euphoria or Rabbit's Paw? Probably Euphoria. I'm gonna save us a little bit. Rabbit's Paw would be nice for the drops to keep our ammo count pretty high, but maybe we can just make it around it. So this is scary. But the Euphoria actually helped a lot there. Pretty much kept us from dying to the hallway of death. Plus, we're, we're getting plenty of drops. Oh, yes. Yas. We're almost back up full HP. There's the bloodlust. There's half of the combo. Now we just need... Big dog. It's hard to not die here because it's kind of hard to even see what's happening. Okay. <laughs> it just pulled us right in. Energy weapon, lightning shotgun. I feel like the lightning shotgun might be a little bit better than uh, the shovel at this point in the game. I could be wrong about that, but I think it's gonna be at least a little bit better. There we go. So we're running a bit low on ammo, so I'm gonna try to play smart, but be a little adventurous with our ammo. Like, that was dangerous as crap, honestly. Nice. That's kind of what I'm hoping for, is to toss a chain reaction in there. Gatling Bazooka is so good. Hurling Gatling Bazooka would guarantee us a throne kill if we got there. And the question is, will we even get there, you know? Okay, let's go make some decisions. Mm, we don't have very much ammo for it. I don't really... Uh, Auto Flame Shotgun is pretty good. Is the Lightning Shotgun better, though? It has the potential to be better, but it also has the potential to miss and let us die, whereas the auto flame shotgun is pretty much going to be a guaranteed shot as long as we're shooting in the right direction. So, boiling veins is going to be nice. If cars get thrown us or something, we will survive. The one bad thing is we still don't have that bullet mutation. So, we're missing out on a lot of what we need. God, don't get lost in the explosions. Oh, I thought the shot was going to stop him. See? I'm hoping that that playstyle we just incorporated is going to carry over to this one. To where we are playing a little bit smarter, a little bit harder. And hopefully we can just carry that over to uh, this one. And get even further. Because I haven't played very much Melting. These, uh, the past couple sessions I've been playing. I know we did the 
I actually think I would prefer the explosions. That was satisfying. <laughs> I actually like the explosions a little bit more. The early thrown butt is fantastic. Bigger explosions. Kinda wish we had the crown of blood though. Cause without the crown of blood, it just doesn't feel like melting. I mean, melting is good without the crown of blood, don't get me wrong, but okay. <laughs> early crossbow, it's gonna make short work of all the bosses we run into early game. It's gonna be kinda convenient. It's pretty much a free ticket through every boss early game. Addicted to love. Okay. An early back muscle is nice too, we can start stacking up some pretty fat ammo. See, that was kind of risky walking around that corner, because if that, uh, that bandit decided to shoot, he could just killed me. Wow, we're getting a really good chain reaction going on here. Oh, that was so bad. I should have just ran backwards. I was so happy with our weapon combo. And I was kind of happy with our mutations, too. One thing that they changed is they did change it to where... The heavy bolts aren't as affected by bolt and arrow, so that was one of the things that you used to be able to do, was get a, a heavy weapon really early, and then just pick up a bolt and arrow and win the game, pretty much. But they've changed that now, so... It's no longer as OP. It's still pretty good, but it's just not as OP as it was. I mean, it's still solid, but it's not OP. Grenade launcher, I'll take it. I really do like the grenade launcher. I've been getting a lot better at using them here lately. And now that I've practiced with them quite a bit, I see their potential more than I used to. Because I used to just be like, dangerous weapon that could kill me. Now I actually see high DPS potential if you play patiently. Yeah, blow up the corpses. Leave none behind. Earlier scarier face. All about that scarier face though. the explosions. So there's the boss. I do think I'm just going to take care of him real quick. Oh, I really thought that was going to kill him. Kind of surprised he lived to even get that one shot out. What is this? Another SMG. Come on, man. Give me something useful. Give me something that will make me feel strong. Like a big old strong man. Alright, come on. Give me some good mutations. These are not what I was looking for. Early open mind might result in better weapons, though, so... Let's commit. This is kind of scary, because normally we would hope to have a much better weapon than what we have. But if we play it correctly, we'll actually benefit having these kind of mint weapons for this area. A laser rifle? Eh. It's not bad, but I think we can do better. Matter of fact, I know we can do better. Um, okay. I do see an area to get to turtle time. Okay, so that is actually a mimic, so here's what we'll do. Open that up, then we'll open this up. And we'll just go through. So... Maybe a trigger fingers. It'll allow us to shoot our explosives a little faster. It's kind of scary using explosives here, because the turtles are so fast. That if you make a mistake, you can just die. Kind of using a lot of ammo. Another laser rifle, man. They really want us to take that laser rifle. I might hit him up on the offer, actually. Just because if you offer it so many times, like, I can only say no so many times. Be before it feels like there's something wrong with me, not the game. So I see this assassin waiting to sneak up on us. Oh my god, look at this cool crap right now. Quit landing in here! <laughs> Can we just like break out? I want to break through. There we go, that should be it. Let's go ahead and not kill ourselves would be great. Okay, there we go. I 
hear you, Mr. Birdie. I hear you knocking, but you can't come in. Now, that couldn't have been everything, because we could blow up that corpse instantly. Oh, sorry. Failed twice, so he's good for third. Oh my god, the explosions! I think we're gonna pick up this energy weapon. I couldn't even see what it was, but we're gonna pick it up. The laser minigun. I really don't like this situation we're in. I really want to replace our pistol at this point. <laughs> I think it's overstayed its welcome a little bit. Oh my god, he's so aggressive. Racer, super spawner gun. I'll take the super spawner gun, I guess. We don't have very much ammo, which I'm kind of nervous about, but maybe this back muscle will fix that problem. That was kind of awkward. I just slowly walked through everybody silently. I'm trying not to die, but man, these birds are not making that easy, easy task. I think I'm just, yeah, swap over to that. Um, we want to keep it, though. I kind of want to. At the same point in time, I really don't want to. I don't know. We'll... Oh, that jump he just did was freaking legendary. Maybe we'll clear out this area with it, and then we'll come back for our other weapon. Because I was digging the laser mini gun. It was working pretty well. I'm trying not to kill myself with this damn laser, not this damn grenade launcher, or whatever. Oh god. Felt like I was pretty close to dying there. I thought I saw a Galling Slugger, but I guess not. Galling Slugger is what I want. Not this. As much as I do love a Galling Minigun, this is not what I want. Sure, there's a lot of experience we got in here. Yeah, holy crap, that was so much experience. I think we got two levels. So, oh my god. You're gonna make me choose, aren't you? Thrown butt, less I think thrown butt's a little bit better. I all admit it. So we're still a little low on ammo, and we didn't go back to the weapon. We're gonna continue to be low on ammo. Oh, I got hit. I actually didn't think that bullet would hit me if I sat in the corner. So much XP in this corner. Blood cannon. All right, guys, quit. I can't. I can't dodge you because you're so far away. I don't know where you are. I don't. I don't want it. I don't want any. Nice. We are alive. We aren't doing too well, but we're alive. Sit on the throne. Oh, baby, I plan on it. Get. I always say shut the front door. I don't know why. 
Oh god, there's an enemy in there. If this was any less accurate, oh my god. This is level 10, which makes me kind of happy. Ooh, smart gun. Okay. I like the smart gun a lot. It might actually be better for us. Oh, girl. You had me an impact rest, though. That's what I'm talking about. That's how you finish a boss off this time. We killed the golden guy. So one less annoyance to worry about. Oh god. The explosion's left. Good. Spinner gun. Oh god, we took our we took our own. I can't even think of it right now, I'm so nervous. We need to get back to full HP though. We took our own strong spirit, that's what I was trying to say with this spirit. That lightning hammer is tempting. Oh god, we're done already? That was fast. Somebody else. I wish we had eagle eyes. Oh my god, eagle eyes, please. Still wish we had eagle eyes. Three more mutations is half your HP. Brain capacity. I think brain capacity is going to be better. Awkward. Alright. I'm not very comfortable with that bullet weapon anymore. But sadly, I don't think the secret pistol is going to be the thing to replace it, so. Hmm. How do I want to do this? Do I want to just nuke everything down with the bazooka? I kind of do. I think I just want to use the bazooka for almost this entire engagement. And we're gonna start with opposites, we're gonna go boom, boom. Because I don't want to start close to myself, it's more deadly that way.
stay far away while everything's working. There we go. Now we need to not die here. Oh my god, I'm so sad. I freaking the guy. Ugh. Mm. 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 <laughs> okay, well, that's good for today's video, guys. If you guys liked it, hit that like button. It means the world to me. It shows the appreciation for the video and the series and all that good stuff. Leave a comment down in the comment section below. Let me know whatever it is you guys need me to know. I respond to all of them, and I try to accept any tips and criticism that is laid my way. Subscribe to the channel if you guys aren't already, and recommend the channel to anybody who may be interested. And I hope you guys have the most amazing day in the whole damn world. See you guys.